hi, my name is Jordan Johnston. I'm a recent graduate from LaSalle College. Have you ever had friends or family visit you at college? You want to take them around the dorm? See your college life? You stumble into the cafeteria and they're serving minced meat and boiled corn stock. Boiled corn stock? What is that? Anywho, here I am to help you cook a very delicious and inexpensive meal to feed you as well as your visitors. So, put your aprons on, put your bow ties on, grab a smile, and come with me if you want to eat. Today we'll be cooking up magnificently mammal-free mac and cheese. Specifically designed for those of you with dietary restrictions or would like to make a healthier choice in your eating habits. It'll wet, it'll wet every one of your whistles, every last whistle. First, you want to take three cloves of garlic and chop them up. Then add a drizzle of olive oil. If you do not have access to roast or fresh garlic, you can use a teaspoon of powdered garlic. I'm going to add it into the pan. This will be handy if your neighbor is a Dracula. We'll leave that there for a little bit on low heat. Small sweet potato, excellent source of beta carotene. Now this are really small puny sweet potatoes, so we took I took two really small puny sweet potatoes. You want to bake them, then just stab them. Then we can put them in the microwave for about six minutes. Now it's time to make your pasta. I'm going to fill up a pot with water. For this recipe, we're using vegetable radiatore. I'm going to turn it on here, set it to a boil. On one time, I used orecchiette. They tended to get stuck together, so I sold them to the mouse in for infantry for little mouse helmets. Now, the veg vegetable radiatore is good because it keeps with the, the vegan theme, there's no egg. It's just durum wheat and made with spinach and tomatoes and other vegetables. Now it's time for the cheese. We're going to take these two potatoes. They are sweet potatoes. They are baked in the microwave or cooked in the microwave and peeled. I'm going to put them in here. We're going to add three quarters of a cup of butternut squash. Later on we're going to add some nutritional yeast which is very good in high in protein as well as add sort of the the tangy flavor that actual cheese would. Uh, if you do not have nutritional yeast you may or if you can't find nutritional yeast in your con congressional district you may just add more spices to make up for flavor and you can serve with the side of beans or quinoa or tofu to make up for the protein discrepancy. Uh, before I throw it in the blender so it doesn't jam up, I am going to mash it all up. If you can't find canned butternut squash, you can use butternut soup, butternut squash soup, and just, since it's in liquid form, you can just substitute out the soy milk a little bit. Still add soy milk, but make sure that is reconciled there. Okay, now I'm going to add it into the blender. Like so, listen to that plop. All right, now we have that added. And we are going to add our quarter cup of vegan butter. Just throw it in there. Mm. I'm going to put a half of a cup of almond milk or soy milk. We're going to add a third of a cup of nutritional yeast. Now this is what it looks like. We're going to add this garlic right here. The spices are sea salt, cayenne pepper, ground black pepper, and garlic. So now I've removed our sauce from the blender. I've added it to the pasta noodles. Mix it up real good, oh, real good. And for an extra little crisp on the, on the top, 
and a little bit of flavor. If you have nutritional yeast, you can throw this on here. Or if you don't have nutritional yeast, you can use some fancy little breadcrumbs. I'm going to a little bit more for some flavor on the edges here. Look at that. You just got to mm, put it on. Okay. And tap that. Put it in the sink. Now you're going to want to warm up your handy dandy oven up to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Daintily slide it in. Keep it in there for 20 minutes. Now, while it is cooking, we're gonna play the guitar. The vegan mac and cheese, it's easy to please. Okay, it's done. We will remove from the oven. 20 minutes has surpassed. Maybe you've watched the, your favorite episode of something. And here it is.